everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how I made the Flash cosplay. This was a commission. Uh, right now I just have the neck and the helmet here, but I did make the entire costume, so we will be going over that in the whole tutorial. It's going to involve a muscle suit, it's going to involve some foam fabrication, uh, as well as some painting. Uh, it's basically the whole costume. Uh, no super mega fancy techniques uh, were used. Everything was made with fairly accessible uh, tools that every uh, person who's looking into getting into costume making would have. So I hope you guys enjoy the process. So the pattern came from I think Yaya Han's men's bodysuit pattern. It was heavily altered to fit the customer's very superhero-like body type. The pattern is weighed down with large washers and cut out. I actually cut everything out twice and you'll see why soon. Next I'm lightly sketching the placement for the muscles. I've made muscle suits before and this one I'm taking a bit of a different approach. Once sketched I traced the muscles onto some see-through paper and labeled everything. Now I'm transferring those pattern pieces to EVA foam. Each piece was rounded off with the Dremel. To glue the pieces on, I'm using an aerosol spray adhesive called Foamfast 74. It's super durable and very easy to use. You'll find a link in the description. All you have to do is spray one or both sides, wait a couple seconds, and stick it on. Once all stuck on, I'm spraying more foam fast and layering on the second piece of fabric, right on top. Very carefully, since I want to avoid any wrinkles. Since this fabric is really stretchy, it's easy to push them into the crevices. I'm repeating the same steps for the other parts as well, but to get the right curve, or close to it, I'm using rolls of paper towel. And finally, now that everything is glued into place, I'm sewing it with great difficulty. I'm not going to cover every single step to put the bodysuit together since I'd rather focus on the muscle suit parts. I hope that's okay. Before we cover the painting of the whole suit, let's work on the insignia. Two circles to form the border and a pencil sketch to map out the lightning bolt. I cut everything out of I think 3 or 4 millimeter EVA foam. Off camera, I rounded the insides of the border and glued them on. And now I'm evening out the outer edges and rounding them off. First with the sanding drum and then with the stone bit to lessen the little fuzzy bits. A quick pass with the blowtorch lighter and I could glue the lightning bolt. To be safe, I'm putting quick seal on the edges to make them seamless. The belt was next. I think there's a pillow in there to get the shape, I don't remember. I'm patterning it with masking tape and a sharpie. Using a measuring gauge, I'm marking the distances from the line. Now let's paint the muscle suit. This was actually going to take me over 20 hours to paint, but I don't regret the decision. The paint being used is a relatively liquidy acrylic. Once the painting is done, there's still so much to do. I'm carefully cutting and measuring the yellow strips. I apologize for my big old head in the way, but I'm using a glue gun to connect them. A few finishing touches of shading and highlighting. For the gloves, I can use this method since I'm using Lycra. Once it's sewn, I can cut it out and make the border. I don't need to show you those steps again, but I'm gluing them to the gloves using E6000. To paint them, I blew up some latex gloves. At this point, only the legs and the helmet were left. I'm building up the size of the client's legs with paper towel and bubble wrap. 
I think I'm using 8mm foam for the legs. A bit of heat shaping, and some sketching of the other layers. A bit of glue, a bit more drafting, some super glue for the details. Oh, and if your glue is old and getting a little too thick, let the bottle soak in some hot water. Of course, attachments are necessary. Slash the area with an X-Acto and use heat to open up the cuts. Shove a lot of hot glue inside and connect the Velcro. Okay, now I know my mannequin head is a little bit creepy, so I'll try to show her face as little as possible. I'm using duct tape this time because it's stronger and works better for tougher shapes with curves. I'm only patterning half since I'll be mirroring the pattern. I'm cutting a hole for the ear to try to allow for a bit more space. This neck pattern comes from Evil Ted Smith, I'll put a link down in the description. It's better to use thinner foam for things like this since you don't want to immobilize your neck too much. I'm using Barge Contact Cement. This is really the best contact cement I've ever used. Connecting weird bulky shapes like a helmet can be a little weird, but just go slowly. Registration marks help a lot too. For the ears, more circles and borders. This isn't going to be perfect for ear space, but it's definitely better than nothing. A bit of heat and I can shape them into a rounded shape a bit more. Plus the shape makes the helmet look a little more shapely. For the brows, I'm using foam clay. Wet the surface with a bit of water and stack it on. This is maybe the only material I'm using that might not be as accessible as the rest. The same thing can also be done with another layer of foam and a Dremel. Ignore the lightning bolt on the ear too. I thought it might be cool, but the client preferred the original ear spike. More masking seams and the sharpening of the ear spike edges. But of course, you can never be too sure those seams will stay hidden, so more quick seal. I'm sorry I can't show all of my painting process since I do most of it outside. This is a trick I figured out in the past when my armor ripped apart. Foam isn't strong enough to hold lacing, so I'm gluing a strip of faux leather to the underside. Now I can properly and securely hold the eyelets and laces. I used to draw a lot of comic book art, so where to put my shading comes somewhat naturally, but reference images always help. Now, I know, this looks pretty ridiculous, but I had to wrap it around my dress form and it clearly doesn't fit on it whatsoever, but I had to work with what I had. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I don't have a mannequin on which the whole costume can fit on, so uh, we'll just have to deal with my friend here who is um, balancing, actually, so I probably shouldn't touch it. Be sure to check out my website, suspiciousTumbleweed.com, where you will find my uh, past projects, as well as a store where I sell prints, patterns, props, and apparel, and much more. So be sure to check that out. Thank you so much to my Patreon uh, subscribers. Your support is greatly appreciated. So, so much. Thank you very much. Down below, you will find all the Amazon affiliate links, so any Thing you purchase off of the links, uh, Amazon will give me a percentage, so it's another way to support me. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all the links in the description. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So I will see you guys next time.